Are you stuck in a print-on-demand trap? You have great ideas for a t-shirt brand on Shopify, but you're drowning in a sea of tools. From juggling design software like Canva, searching for quality mockups, wrestling with SEO, and spending hours just to get one product listed, it's a workflow that kills productivity and creativity and just slows you down. What if I told you that the entire process from generating unique designs, creating a full suite of professional mockups, to writing your SEO optimized Shopify data could all be done from a single platform, all while using Printify to fulfill your orders automatically. This isn't just about saving a little bit of time, it's a fundamental shift in how you build your brand, allowing you to launch high quality products with incredible speed. In this video, I'm going to show you the complete start to finish system for launching t-shirts on Shopify using Printify for order fulfillment, along with the automation power of my designs. So no fluff, no juggling tools, just a streamlined path from idea to launched products in seconds. Let's get started. Okay, so first we need to log into our My Designs account. As you can see here, I'm on the dashboard page. So next up, what we're going to do is go over to the account settings up here top right. Click that. Go to account settings. Now before you do this, you need to make sure that you are logged into your Shopify store and you have it open in another tab. That's important, but once you're on account settings, Go over to shops and at the top here you will see connect Shopify. If you click that it's going to take you over to our actual Shopify app. From there you simply click install. That'll then open up the uh, permissions inside of your Shopify account and you'll just click install down here. And that's it. That's how easy it is to connect my designs to your Shopify account. Now if you're going to use Printify for fulfilling your orders then you would do the same thing here in account settings. You go over to print partners. Um, from here, you'll click connect Printify. That's gonna take you over to your Printify account. You'll approve the permissions and then it'll come right back here and it'll show you your Printify account. There'll be a drop down you click that links it right to your Shopify store and that's it, you're done. So now at that point, the next step is to go over to the listings page where we're gonna create some designs, uh, save them and then go and turn them into t-shirts and publish those to our Shopify store incredibly fast using Printify to fulfill orders. And because this is an A through Z tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to connect Printify to. Again, you go to account settings, go over to print partners, and you've got this connect Printify button. But before you click this, you wanna be logged into your Printify account. From there, you'll click connect Printify and just go click connect. That'll take you over to Printify to approve the permissions. And then from here, it will redirect you back to my designs. As you can see here, you now have your shops connected. So what you also want to do on Printify before you do this connection part is make sure that your Shopify store is also connected to Printify, the one that you're connecting to My Designs. That way you can you can make the orders flow perfectly between the two stores. And that's it for this step. So now let's get into creating designs and creating those t-shirts. All right, so first let's go over to the listings page. And up at the top here, if you land on the listings page for the first time, you'll just be under the home folder. You want to click home. And if you're new to My Designs, you're not going to see any other folders here. So you want to click add folder. And I already did that and I named it Shopify. So I'm gonna click into that folder, but you can create that folder, name it Shopify, name it your store name, whatever it is, and then organize other folders for that store within it. In this case, I'm gonna click into the, just the Shopify folder and I'm gonna say dog shirts. We'll keep it really simple. I'm just gonna focus on a few dog shirts to show you this process, but I'm gonna add that. Now I got dog shirts here. Let's click into that. And then from here, you wanna open folder. And now you can see we're under home, Shopify dog shirts. So obviously it's empty, there's no designs here. So if you already have designs that you wanna turn into t-shirts, you can come up to the top here, click upload, upload files and just drag and drop all those designs here and click upload all. And then you could follow the steps. But in this case, I'm gonna actually use Dream AI, our AI feature for generating designs by simply using text prompts. And then we'll save those to this folder, upscale them, remove the background, etc., and then go publish them, it's so easy. So with that being said, let's go over to Dream. I had a prompt already preloaded, a really simple prompt. Let me apply this so you can see what it shows. Oops, let me refresh. And here we go, okay. So right here you say a bold love word, but a cocker spaniel head replaced the letter O, vector illustration, white text for t-shirt, print isolated on a black background. So there's a bunch of different models you can use here and the settings are really simple. Under mode, you wanna be text image. We have recommended models. In this case, I'm gonna use Imagine 4 from Google, Imagine 4 Ultra, fantastic model. I'm gonna do two images in the three, four aspect ratio, which is great for t-shirts. And again, the prompts here. 
And what I'm going to show you real quick is how to scale this. So once you have a good prompt, put it in here, run a few tests, make sure it looks good. If you like it and you want to scale to other dog breeds in my case, then I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. And I'll also show you where I found this one. This is a prompt I generated a long time ago. So under the Dream AI library, if you come here, click public gallery, it'll take you over to the Dream AI library. There's tons of just public images here and prompts you can look at and get inspiration. So I went under most views and I clicked into this. And now you can see the prompt here. You can just copy prompt and that's how I got it. You can see the actual model it was used. This is Ideal Gram version two for this style, but I'm using um, Imagine 4 Ultra. So now back to Dream AI. Got our prompt. Now we have this new feature right here called scale the prompts. You can click this and I'm gonna say scale this prompt to the top six dog breeds. And we'll just let that run. And what it'll do is actually create that same prompt with variations for each dog breed. So as you can see here, we got a bold love word, but a golden retriever head replaced the letter O. Factory illustration, everything looks really good there. Don't know what has that at the end. There's a few of those. I'm gonna remove those just in case. You can probably technically leave those, but I'm gonna remove those. It shouldn't put those in there. But now if you look at this, so we got golden retriever, German shepherd, bulldog, uh, Siberian Husky and the Shund and Poodle. So really cool. At this point, you want to obviously toggle on parallel prompts and then hit dream and it'll toggle all of those up. And now we have every single one of those designs generating for us incredibly fast. So if you're not a graphic designer, you don't know how to create designs, then you can do this. Dream AI is fantastic for that. So in this case, we are done. So I'm actually going to select this one. I'll go through and just select the ones I like the most for each of these. But you can see this ultra model does a really good job. I did it on a black background because I want the text, et cetera, to be lighter color so that we can put them on darker color t-shirts. So let's grab this one. Both of these look pretty good. Might as well say both. Go here. I like this one here and that as well. All right, in fact, we'll just grab both these. So what do we have? We got nine. Let's go grab one more to make this 10 in total. Um, we'll go here with another golden retriever. Now we got 10 different designs that we generated in mere seconds. I'm gonna go save up here. And we're already in the right folders. You can see the collection, we're under dog shirts, that's great. So what I want to do is actually remove the background and I also wanna upscale these by 4X. So we have two models here, there's my, my designs model one. It's more expensive and it probably does a better job of not getting rid of important details. But most of the time MD 1.5 is cheaper, faster and does a great job. So I'm gonna to stick to that and we will actually upscale these two. And everything else here, save mode, create new listing, collection, just main file, that's perfect. So from here, just click save to listings. Yes, store images. And because we are removing the backgrounds and upscaling these images, these images, it'll take a little longer, but it shouldn't take more than 30 seconds to a minute. And then we will move over to the listings page and we're already pretty much ready to go publish. All right, so that is already done. Uh, now, if we go back to listings, let me make the view on this a little bit bigger so you can see. Looks like it did a great job on the background removal. One thing I do wanna do is actually move the design to the top, which I can do during the publishing process and make it a little bigger. So I'll show you a really quick way to do that. But you can toggle between grid view and list view. So if you wanna generate data, et cetera, right now, you can do that. But really, we can just select these designs. I'm gonna go publish them as Bella 3001 t-shirts to Shopify, go publish. Let's go to Shopify under print on demand. So Shopify. Because we are using Printify, I'm gonna go type in the Bell 3001. We'll pull that product up. You got the My Designs printers here and you got the Printify printer. So if I click Printify, now if you have a Printify premium account, you're going to get that pricing for these products when the orders come in. It's gonna come into My Designs and then right over to your Printify account set up for the exact SKU that was ordered. It's completely automated and seamless. So under here, let's find, I'll go with Monster Digital here. You see all the color options, et cetera, the different print areas. So just click that. And now you can choose front, back, inner neck labels, different print areas, but we're just gonna do front prints with this. We'll keep all of these sizes here. Now for colors, I wanted some of the dark colors, so we'll go black, let's go navy. Um, let's go with cardinal and true royal. We'll make sure those look good. And that's probably good. Maybe I'll go one more color here. Let's go with the Kelly green. And for mock-ups, this is really cool about my designs. We have the Printify mock-ups coming really soon where you can choose from their mock-ups too. But we have tons of mock-ups and size charts right here built in, tons of options. So I want to grab some of the best ones. I'll grab this one. Let's grab this one here and maybe one more. 
Let's probably go, we'll go with this one here. A little bit more of an oversized look, which is pretty popular. I'm gonna remove the base mock up here, the simple one. And then let's uh, select the colors we want for these. I'll just show you here. We'll get a couple of these, make sure that we cover all colors. And this, we'll, you can see they're all rendering. And I did wanna actually add a size chart, so I'm gonna go add mock up, add size chart. And for the size chart color, I'll probably just make that uh, t-shirt black. That's gonna be right here at the end. Now you can drag and drop these mock-ups, the position you want them to appear on your Shopify store, this by just by clicking and dragging them around. But as you can see here, got various mock-ups generated for this product. But again, that design's kind of low, right? So this is what I'm gonna show you. It's a really cool trick here at My Designs. Go to Canvas, and you can see we got all of our listings up here. So these are light, so the background's kind of hard to see, but I, you know, I could still see it pretty well. So I'm just gonna actually increase the size of this particular one. I line it more towards the top, and I'm gonna right click on this and sync. And that applies the same alignment and positioning to all of these designs. So some of them might need adjusted a bit. This one didn't turn out so well, but we will go with it anyway. That's what I mean by that background removal. But I'm gonna move these down a bit, make sure everything fits. So this is just a demo, but in your case, I'd probably use the other background removal option. So, and this is a good example here in, in this particular case. I want this design to probably be a little bigger, so I can adjust that there. This one is good. This one could go up. I could probably make that a bit bigger too. Get it centered, and then one more. Let's make this one also a little bit bigger. Move that to the top, and just like that, we can just save. They'll re-render all the mock-ups. You can see here, and that's doing it for all of our listings. So if I rotated through to the next one, you can see here, we've got all these different designs all rendering much better, like having a much bigger view there. So that's it for this step. I would also, if you want a video mockup, you can just toggle this on and it'll actually generate a video mockup that creates a transitional slideshow through each of these selected mockups here. This is really good for platforms like Etsy. Not so sure if you need it for Shopify, but if you want it, that's how you do it. So I'm gonna turn that off, but it's, your, it's up to you what you wanna do there. Now we have another feature called multi-product publishing where I could add, for instance, like a Guild 18,000 and a Guild 18,000 sweatshirt and hoodie to this listing, adjust all the settings accordingly, and that way on Shopify you have the t-shirt, sweatshirt, and a hoodie available with the same design. But I'm not gonna touch on that right now, I just wanted to make you aware of that, it's a really cool feature. So now let's go to the next step. And from here, what we have is Vision AI. You can either enter your titles, descriptions, and tags in manually, or use Vision AI down here, which will scan your design using our AI models to analyze it and actually optimize the listing. So your title, descriptions, and tags based on the design and the product type for Shopify. So it'll help create that SEO optimized listing for you. So let's click Vision AI, toggle on. You can leave all of these settings as default. Everything looks great. In fact, you could actually change this if you want. I'm gonna to go to the 2.5 model, but we're gonna generate titles, descriptions, and tags. And again, it automatically selects the Bell 3001 t-shirt. That way it will append those details of that t-shirt to the end of your description. So I'm gonna click generate data. And we're doing this in parallel for all of these listings, all 10 of them. So that won't take too long and we could preview the data. And this is again, because we're publishing to Shopify, it's optimized for Shopify. So love, dog, husky, or blue eyes, pet, animal, vector t-shirts. So you got your description here with the product details and you got the tags. So it's, it's good to go. If I rotate through these listings, you got the bulldog. You can see it's, it not understands what it is, Deschund. And there's a few other uh, German Shepherd, etc. So really cool. We got that optimized for Shopify, which is actually optimized for Google. And it's ready to go. So let's go choose prices. From here, it's going to pull in under cost, your Printify cost for the account that you have linked. So in this particular case, for the small black, it's 11.42. You can see that the 3XL is obviously more expensive. So I'm gonna just bump the price. Over here we have edit and bulk options. You can edit by the size, by the color, and the actions, there's various actions like set a profit percent or increase the amount, the money amount, whatever it is you wanna do. But I'm gonna leave everything as all and just go change this to 29.99, apply to all. Now you see our approximate profit is about 18.57. If you go to that 3XL, it's gonna be a little less, but that should cover everything really well for you. So at this point, that's it. That was easy. So that applied to, again, to all of our different designs, our different listings here, because we applied it to all and did it in bulk with this apply to all button. So now we can go preview publish info. This is the last step. We got our Shopify store. The store is my designs, just a demo store we have. The publish status you can set as active, draft, or archived. I'm gonna leave it as active. 
You can use custom shipping profiles if you don't want to. Otherwise, because we're using Printify, it's gonna use theirs, which is what I recommend. But this is how you just preview um, all of your listings here on the last step. You can see the title, descriptions, tags, the primary mockup, print file, etc. So in this case, we are done. You could see the colors we chose, Printify, Monster Digital, my design's the vendor here, everything's good to go. So this is incredible, so I can just hit publish, but I wanted, before I do that, let's say you're gonna be doing a bunch of t-shirts using these same general settings. You can actually click save as profile, give it a name like Shopify Bell 3001, dark colored t-shirts, and then anytime you want to load these settings with a batch of new designs, it'll just preload all of the settings you just did. So that's how you can save profiles. But in that case, I don't need to, I'm just gonna go publish. And now, that'll queue up the job, all 10 of these listings, creating them, publishing them over to our Shopify store. They'll already be active. So when that's done, I'll move over to the Shopify store to show you what that looks like. All right, as you can see here, that is already done, didn't take long at all. So let's move over to this demo Shopify store of ours. I'm gonna refresh the page. And if we go under products, you can see we got all 10 of these products here. So the German Shepherd, the Huskies, um, the Shun, it's a golden retriever and the poodle you can see everything's here it's really cool so that worked out really well so let me actually just pull up one of these listings so you can see um got the title description everything's formatted great got all of our mock-ups here with the size chart included let me pull that up there you go and all the different sizes colors etc the variants all set up perfectly that way in your tags here so that way, if an order comes in from your Shopify store, so let's just go preview this listing. So if an order comes in from the Shopify store, it'll go right to My Designs and then right over to Printify, set up this exact SKU that was ordered. That way, when Printify fulfills it, the tracking number comes back to My Designs, right to the order on Shopify, completely automated. But that's it really for this video. I wanted to show you that A through Z process, just really show you how incredibly easy it is to create launch and scale your Shopify store with print on demand products. So this is about t-shirts. We have hundreds of other products you can choose from and pretty soon here we'll have the entire Printify catalog. So with that being said, that's it for this video. If you have any questions or have other videos you'd like to see, let me know by leaving a comment below, but that's it. Cheers.